House lawmakers are expected to vote on a debt ceiling extension bill today, preventing potential economic fallout. The Senate approved the measure last week, which temporarily raises the debt limit by $480 billion. If fully passed, the move ensures the government can continue paying its bills. But lawmakers will be faced with another deadline come December 3rd when the extension expires. For more on this, let's bring in Nicole Killian. She joins us now from Capitol Hill. Hi, Nicole. So what is next if House lawmakers do pass the debt ceiling extension and are plans in the works to head off that December deadline? Well, uh, we wish we could tell you we know, uh, but the fact is we don't. I mean, obviously, you know, lawmakers uh, and congressional leaders will ultimately figure this out. What we do know is that this temporary extension will buy them a little bit more time to try to figure out a solution to avoid a debt default, because you'll recall prior to this vote taking place in the House and uh, last week in the Senate, uh, Republicans and Democrats were really at loggerheads over this. And the fact remains that they still are, even though Republicans budged and you know, helped out to get this temporary extension uh, passed. Uh, the fact remains that uh, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has made clear to President Biden that Republicans are not willing to assist Democrats again, and he is strongly pushing uh, Democrats to try to include this in a standalone reconciliation package, that larger social spending package that uh, Democrats are currently working on. Uh, Speaker Pelosi just held a news conference a short time ago. She, her view uh, continues to be that uh, anything around the debt limit should be a bipartisan vote. Uh, so again, uh, you know, we're kind of back to the same old arguments and the same back and forth. Uh, but uh, one thing is, is certain is that, uh, you know, leadership overall, uh, for the most part, has uh, expressed concern over what would happen if the U.S. were to default on its obligation. So rest assured that between now and December 3rd, uh, it is of top of priority and top of mind to uh, most here in Congress to try to figure out some type of resolution in the coming weeks. So, Nicole, is there in any indication that it's a possibility they don't pass it today? And if so, what happens then? Uh, you know, we'll have to see. Obviously, with these things, you know, you never know till kind of those final votes come down. But for the most part, we do expect this temporary extension to pass. Uh, again, this was uh, the result of compromise between Democrats and Republicans in the Senate. What we don't know is if any House Republicans will likely go along with this temporary extension or object in any way. Uh, obviously, there are many House Republicans out there who uh, have taken the same position and who are opposed to assisting a Democrat with uh, this type of extension and, and with this, I would say more specifically, you know, with some type of debt limit increase uh, for the reasons they have been laying out over the last couple of weeks. They just feel that Democrats uh, want to tax and spend and they just don't want to be a part of uh, trying to up the limit on the credit card, if you will. That being said, you know, again, this is just a temporary fix in the House, uh, which we do expect to, to clear without uh, much objections. As I mentioned, that bigger fight is going to come in December. Right. And Nicole, besides this debt ceiling extension, the other big docket item is, of course, President Biden's infrastructure and social spending bills. What is the latest on the status of those talks? So those continue. As you know, uh, Democrats are facing a deadline at the end of this month to try to wrap things up with respect to that larger social spending package, which is based on President Biden's Build Back Better agenda, as well as that smaller infrastructure bill uh, where the House lawmakers were supposed to vote on that at the end of last month, but have now uh, pushed that off until they get a resolution with this larger package. So uh, again, as far as Speaker Pelosi is concerned, and she kind of reiterated this in her news conference today, uh, you know, ultimately, Democrats are going to have to pare down the price tag. You know, she said she regrets that it can't be $3.5 trillion, which is what was originally proposed, which was a result of compromise among Democrats. Originally, that figure was as high as $6 trillion. But uh, what she wouldn't say is what Democrats might be willing to cut, if anything. And, and you know, you ask most lawmakers here on the Hill, and, and they don't want to answer that question uh, either as far as what ultimately may stay or go. They say that that as part of ongoing negotiations. So those types of discussions are happening more so between behind closed doors. Um, but, uh, you know, the bottom line is that lawmakers will have to come down on a lower price tag in order to try to, you know, get this legislation over the finish line. Nicole Killian on Capitol Hill. Thank you so much.